All right, the name of this plane is the <laughs> Solar Impulse, but everything about its journey has been carefully and minutely planned. It hopes to fly into the record books with this round-the-world journey, and it just set off on its most challenging leg of the trip. And ABC's Kana Whitworth joins us from our LA bureau with more. Hi, Kana. Hey, Dan and Paula, good morning. What a daunting project this has been. They were making really steady progress when they started in Abu Dhabi back in March, but weather delayed the flight effort in China for more than a month. So they found favorable conditions Saturday. They are well on their way this morning, now over the Sea of Japan, about a thousand miles into the journey. It's the launch of the newest adventure in an amazing first of its kind aircraft. For the next 130 hours, six days and six nights with no fuel. These two pilots are flying the Solar Impulse 2 across the Pacific Ocean, a record-breaking journey. Using just the power of the sun to fuel the flight from Nanjing, China over South Korea, Japan, landing in Hawaii before taking off again to Phoenix, Arizona. I'm confident that the airplane is a, is a great airplane in terms of performance in the way it flies. Pilot Andre Borschberg is taking the first shift, squeezing into the tiny one-man cockpit live on streaming video from behind the controls over the 5,000-mile voyage. In terms of safety, we are covered, but in terms of mission, the suspense will remain. That's where co-pilot Bertrand Picard will take over the controls after a quick pit stop. But on Saturday, he was at Mission Control with the Prince of Monaco cheering on this leg of the journey. It's a great, uh, thrilling moment. The plane's wingspan spreading 246 feet wider than a Boeing 747, yet lighter than an SUV. Our goal is really to demonstrate that we can achieve incredible things with clean technologies and renewable energy, like flying day and night with absolutely no fuel. The solar impulse created by over 80 companies is part of the Future is Clean movement, Led by Borschberg and Picard, its inventors say the technology could change aviation as we know it. The worst, you know, is not to fail. The worst is when we don't dare to try. So the pilots have been trained in self-hypnosis and meditation. I know that was of particular interest to you, Dan, and they yeah. do that to deal with such a confined space. Also, they have to remain in this specialized seat. It reclines so that they can put the plane in autopilot and sleep, totally relaxing, right? Wait, wait. Uh, they can only sleep for 20 minutes at a time. Sleeping while they're flying? 20 minutes at a time, wow. <laughs> Sleeping while they're flying? Minutes, and that's weather, weather permitting can they get in 20 minutes at a time. Dan and Paula, I will never complain about being sleep deprived ever again. Ever, ever. <laughs> Again. I, I plan to continue to complain about yeah, it. Yeah, so. me too. <laughs> yeah, no problem with that. That's yeah. Dan's MO. <laughs> we would expect right. no less. Ron has my back. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> Thank you, Kana.